Hello and welcome to potentially the very last day of summer this year. I know I am the first to complain whenever like we've had weeks upon weeks upon weeks of rain but I mean really summer like a happy medium would have been class but I mean 28 degrees. I'm gonna give you a heads up uh we're gonna have to do a like a public what is it a health and safety warning there may be some nudity in this video not from me you'll be glad to know um just from some of the boys uh driving there are a few pegs out a few six packs on show maybe the old 12 pack um but uh yeah yeah it's it's warm so it is friday evening Friday night is my dinner night. I am cutting it seriously fine. But I know, well Adam actually, he was like, you need to go out and make a video because we're out here and it might be the very, very, very last sort of sunshine video that you might get from me this year. So here I am. Um, it's quite an easy dinner night for me tonight. I only have 14, 15, something like that to feed. Um, so yeah, it should be all right. I might even bring you with me whenever I'm actually doing that. Um, I know some people find that highly amusing that we, the killing wives, sort of feed everybody uh, working for us all the time. So um, we'll see how the form is whenever we get this done and how late I am back and then how much of a panic they are to get fed. So today we are at our own third cut. This used to be a dairy farm and it was sold for development probably probably in the early noughties um so it, it, it could have been sold maybe nearly 20 years ago i'm not sure um but uh it is very 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 close to the the bridge end border there so that's donegal over there this has actually all been passed for housing um, so until such times as they start we have it um, for silage ground. So this is about I think it's maybe somewhere in around 300 acres um, all in one block. Um, so we we've had it now probably the best part of maybe five six years um, and until we sort of took it on it had basically just lay from from the, the, the farmer had left um so we had an awful lot of work to do to the ground so if you can see behind me here like there's an awful lot of kind of wilderness going on um we had a lot of mulching to do we had a lot of hedges to pull out we had a lot of just clearing the ground to do before we could even come into it and kind of think about cutting anything um so yeah that's kind of just what happens i suppose whenever you whenever you know it's kind of bought for development it does just just kind of grow wild for a while um but uh but it's in good shape now um to be fair it's a completely unbelievable farm of land uh you know as uh in northern ireland 300 acre blocks or anything anything on a block doesn't come up uh, for sale too often and it's an absolute mortal sin that they're going to build houses on it but listen that is a story for another day so we are badly re reduced in numbers today um, usually any time that we have been cutting this before it is literally all hands on deck anything at all that could take a trailer on was uh, pulled into cart um, but we are doing a bit of a big reseeding job just down in Dingiven so we have about six or seven bodies away working down there so um, we only have 10 trailers at this today um, so as the crow flies this isn't far from our yard at home um, it's maybe what maybe wouldn't even be the length of five six seven mile um, but what we come up against here is that we have to cart through the town and whenever I say the town I mean um, the city, Derry, London Derry. Um, so that is what we are up against. Um, you could be chatting an hour from here back to the yard 
just by the time you get through all the traffic and everything else so it, it makes life an awful lot more difficult okay, just laughing at him there um, that uh, it's usually Jap that would do he's the number one rake man um, but he is one of the boys that is down uh, reseeding um, because he's also one of the Parhara men um, so that is Adam in the rake today and I don't know where on earth he thought he was going with them wheels on but um, we'll run with the story that they're just eagerly getting prepared to go at the slurry with a bang so the rake there that Adam is driving um, today uh, as I said before it is Jap or James um, that is his rig usually um, so she's the 1370 she's the full eyes of us that's the one that we got last year um, and yeah brilliant 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 break she hasn't actually missed a beat at all this year um, and she has had her work out for her. the crops definitely now at the back end have been very 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 heavy um, and fully stretched out she goes out to 50 something feet I'm just gonna go over here and close the windows and the sunroof in my car because well Philly's not too bad in fairness if Johnny was driving the harvester today I would be going home with a full car load of third cut uh, just some pure badness there is Michael he has just landed probably for his last load I would say of today uh, Michael is our resident chief milkman so uh, I'm sure he's delighted he just cannot wait to get into a parlour on a day like that this is the job I would do here. Oh really? What do you mean the job you would do? I don't know, you ever <laughs> No, I just, I came up in here just for about an air con because the heat out there is serious. What are at? Right and grass. Yeah, I was telling everybody that this um, used to be a dairy farm and then it was sold for development and kind of lay dormant and everything we had to kind of do to get it into this sort of condition. Dozers and diggers. Dozers and diggers, yeah. And someday there will be, I don't know how many thousand houses built on it. What there is there a total of 200? We farm 200 acre of it in the grass and then there's a pile of wasteland probably in our oh, acre. Yeah, it's a good, near almost 300 acres. Isn't it? Well, we had the barley ground, we've taken off Ferguson's out over 300 mm. acre. Right? So, yeah, absolute mortal sin to be building houses on it. Um, but that's just all part and parcel of, of being near to the town. He's trying to turn the aircon off on me here and I'm melting. Um, he couldn't hear me. Hmm. You seem to suffer from that a lot. Selective hair movement. Mm. Um, so, so even the big man's lying tucked in here. Yeah, he's not, he doesn't really... He's not appreciating this today. He's roasted the looks of him. Tommy! You alright? Oh. Nobody liked their dad. No, I. Uh, no, so. What time did you start this at today? Time to restart. We had a block at home, 40 acre, 40, 50 acre at home first. And then. I came out here to rake at half nine. I came out here at half nine or so, waited for the heavy, well, heavy Jew this morning. And then I started raking in, so yeah, we're laughing away the best now, to be fair. Uh, it seems to be coming in not too bad, though the town's very, very busy there now. Very, Tra very busy. And then he's hunting me down all day, which is a disaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's the 11 lady that's left in this today, um, and it's Folly driving. Um, Folly takes no prisoners at the best of times whenever he is. Uh, Whenever he's left in grass, definitely I was out here earlier on and some of the loads that were leaving were... Well he wants to, he wants to see you beat. What? He wants to see No, he wants to catch you. He see what's keeping you, so I tell you, stressful there. Right. Well he'll not catch me now, this field we're on now is 50 acres. Slightly over 50 acres, so he'll not catch me now. You have the advantage now that he has to wait on trailers. Yeah.
Yeah, so I was telling them that, that there was uh, Michael, and that's probably his last load because he'll be going back to milk, and oh. I'm sure he's absolutely delighted about going on there today. Oh, he likes milk, I did Maybe like I mean it's really eight or no it's twenty nine degrees in the car there. Um I twenty eight the track tonight. No night. No night at all. He just asked me what I thought of his Reagan skills. Reagan's Reagan to me, I don't I have no idea. I don't know. So that's your I was I've already been telling them this is Japs. He's already eyeing up the new one that uh Crone is releasing early next year. Oh, Any plans? Any plans? Uh, so you can't tell the wife that stuff, like, obviously, you know. No, I'd like to change one of the big ones at 1400 plus. She's kind of a couple of six seasons done. She's a lot of red. But she came, she came along with the 630 whenever she came. That's right, I um, came the guard, same year. She's wrecked on stuff. She's wrecked a lot of grass. She's wrecked a lot of grass. Um, Look, she, she gets her maintenance all the same every year. Royal Mortimer services her every year. She gets what she needs, like. She's looked about. So what is the crack then with this when, yoke? Why are you not doing this? What? Reckon. Because I have a full time job. And two children. And I have to make dinner. And very, 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 very shortly. So uh, keep that going. I remember when I had my first part time job. <laughs> so this is a the Dyna VT 7719S that we are in currently. So she has all the screens and the I don't know what on her. That's for what does she usually do? She's, 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 the pipe, she's, she's piping, piping. Craig was piping away there so for the last So that week. is why he has the big tires on. Um, what did you think of them on for? Well I sort of maybe thought that you thought you were going into something real. Sure. Sun's shining in the last two days, girl. Right? Right? Two days? Day. Week? Where have you been all week? Maybe a week in the ground as hard as a road. <laughs> uh, to be fair, you know, if you're going off looks like she does look deadly. Yeah. Beef to the max. Um, no, so what is what is the crack? Like she's full of Isabel that's right, isn't she? Yeah, right, so Stop yawning! Yeah, yeah, well. He's look at this, he's a hot water bottle, he's lying in against me sleeping and then he He generates wild heat. Down the deck here. Through the screen. Well, as you see, bottom steer there. So that's handy. So then um, when you slide it over to your reg screen, it's all Isoboss, which is the best thing ever created. Like, see if she a fortune too, you know, and extra uh, screens and controllers and all that. Like realistically, plug the wire in the back of her and the tractor. So everything's touch screen here. You can do it by touching the screen. Turn that that way and you'll see the screen. Very dodgy. So just touch the button on the right, that'll lift them up individually. Or you can preset them onto your control box. So if we pull her back here with a variable, I mean as we send her back. So I have the left hand on this one, the top right one, that one, bottom that one, and the other one and that one. You'll never probably be fit to see that my screen. But that there can lift them all individually. If I wanted the, I uh, so I activate my auto steer again, which is on here, and then I can have, I, I have them all set for the down button now, so every one of them will go down themselves, and away we go again. I have my C1 that does the front two rotors up, I have my C2 that does just the back two rotors up and down, so everything in that rake is completely where you touch a button. So C for points and everything, PDO button will lift the front railer. Uh, reeler up and down, and then my A button will lift my back reeler up and down, and then my hydraulics to the far side, and th so they're all interconfigurable. So, some job. That, that was a big word. <laughs> I heard that one, she knows. <laughs> yeah. Um, I raised a wink your eye. Good job. So, man. what I'm saying, great job. Great People job. thank God, don't buy a big rake because she's so awkward and so, no, so much to do. That completely completely different now like you know a two rotor rigs matter user friendly ah user friendly that's the word you know like it's literally like probably like whenever we bought the first one like it was the maneuverability was going to be the issue because we were kind of thinking like how on earth are we going to get it into fields how we you know we're in northern ireland there's still a lot of small gateways um 
and like that. It hasn't been an issue. It hasn't. To be fair, bar the maybe the first couple of maybe places that you had to go maybe widen a few gates. I but apart know. from that, you only had to do that the oh, once. Oh, we've never really got beat. Actually, ninety percent of the time, you can drop your linkage down on the back of the tractor and raise your raise your axle on the you no know, on the uh, rake. So, like the tail over could be something maybe ten foot off the ground. So really, as long as no poles or trees, any hedges or anything, she'll she'll clear it. You know, she'll know she'll see. So video box, front right, the back, and then all the back. So then if I'm going on the lower side, I can drop the front rotor by itself, then the rear one by itself, and then the other side, I can drop her. That's all, touch it, just touch it. And then that'll drop. So that's me kind of doing the points there now at the front. And then if I, if I go in and they drop the front rot front right rotor, I have that button and then they catch it with the back left back left motor and have that one. That's her reckon on it. So say now I also have my left set that my up and down button does the whole thing as one so if I want my front ones they work together no for my all four they work together I just hit the up button okay it, it, it works in every tractor just rides a boss like it is it has massive benefits so say there if I hit I was just ready to hit up just hit the up button now that's all I have to hit Lorraine now turns my steering wheel to the right so I'll hit just that one button there That's her now, go up the right way. Pull up. And then go back down then over that row. Turn left now. And then we C1 and we C2. Thomas hit. If I hit the C1, so firstly I just hit the auto steer button. Right, let go there now, Lorraine. So she's steering there now. So and if I hit the C1 button, She'll only drop the front two, and I have the C2 button, she'll drop the back two. So you can actually have them like so separately, like you know, it's definitely a good touch now. Yeah, so there's a wee wrecking insight uh, into the whole situation. I have just looked at the time and I am really cutting the whole thing really fine. Um, this is actually their last fill and they're going to need fed very shortly and mm, disaster, disaster. There's Folly waiting on another trailer coming to s just to keep going on. Right, so I'm actually going to go home now and start to make their dinner because uh, hangry men are not are not the one. If anyone wants a handy way to raise your blood pressure, feed men in this. So we are now home and then my fantastically glamorous kitchen. Um, so this is something that we were asked about and it's commented on quite a lot and it's about um, obviously the, the girls feeding, uh, feeding all the men that are working here. Um, so yeah, the way we do it, we have, there is four of us and we have a night each and every fourth week we have a second night. Um, and if the boys are working late, we will cook them a meal and take it to them. Um, so 
we do that for two reasons number one to buy chippies and everything else it just would be too costly um the most people i fed this year i think was 32 um don't ask me where they got all those bodies from i have no idea but that's the dinners i made and i didn't come home with any um but uh yeah and then on the other hand too if we left it up to them to get you know a chippy or get themselves sorted they just wouldn't eat and if they don't eat that's not good for them so it's just easier i say easier but it's probably one of the most stressful things that i have to do in my life and i am not joking you um but yeah we will we're, we're just going to do it um so on the menu tonight if you're from county antrim you'll know what this word means menagerie it is a complete menagerie of stuff um and basically what that is is a complete array of, of stuff uh and the reason why i'm doing that is uh i'm making chicken fried rice uh chips and curry sauce and uh, not everybody likes curry sauce so i'm just doing burgers as well um and they can have burgers and chips if they don't want that so um the good thing is nothing ever comes home it's all eaten so it's great um but yeah it is warm and i'm under pressure i don't even know what time it is but i know that they're probably they're in that last field so they're in that 50 acre field so once that's all home that's them finished but uh it just depends on the traffic and stuff so fingers crossed i have more time than i hope i have right so tonight we have actually quite a nice wee number um we have 14 so usually what that means is i make for 16 because there's always somebody will take two dinners or there'll always be somebody else kicking about or even the odd night i might even get a dinner myself which doesn't actually happen too often but um this is what we use the foil trays you get out of the chinese so you can get them on ebay and amazon and everywhere else so that's just what we use for handiness, for transport, means you can actually just fire it into a tractor if it's passing. So, yeah, it's getting very hot in here. Getting, but we're we're getting places. Excuse my mess. I can't actually believe it. I'm going to put this on the internet. I think it's fair enough to say after you do this, you feel like you've and you look like done 10 rounds in the ring with Mike Tyson but yeah so I'm just getting everything dished out now everything organized and ready to go up and hopefully I will miss the pit covering job I should be enough of them there anyway fingers crossed um but but yeah so I'm just dishing out the chicken fried rice, top it off with chips and a spoonful of curry and that'll be them fed and watered for another evening. So that's us all ready to go. Devastation can wait until we get home. Uh, whenever that may be. And yeah, let's go feed the 5,000.
dairy fed, watered, happy. Everything parked up. And it is home time, thank goodness. So, yeah. Anyway, all the best and we will uh, see you again some stage. Who knows? When? <laughs> see what notion to take next, but yeah. Be good. See you all later.